the skeleton and put the armor on it. Bruce felt sorry for Ned Kelly, let him rest in peace, not rest in pieces. In various locations, Bruce urges, Phil says make sure party pies <laughs> have a filling. Sometimes they're empty and very dry. Bruce asks, what's wrong with Maru? It surely beats a sinking boat. A concern and compassion of Bruce wants to know. Phil opens up about Maru. He says uh, it's a third world dump. That's his words, Naruese. Bruce doesn't believe in UFOs. He's cynical about aliens, except he's not sure about me. He guffaws. Phil says, let's have a booze with the journos on the second floor. No way, you'd collapse on a loof well. Now, eight till midnight through the week. Make it a date. And six till twelve on Sundays, too. I just can't wait. Fans like me and you. Two to three and double you. Nine, six, nine, hundred, six, nine, three, four. That's the sound of uh, McGase from uh, the ground floor cleaning department and it's uh, floor seven for the vacuum cleaning tonight. He's so efficient, isn't he, Bruce? And yet he'll go home to Spotswood and he'll say to Mrs. McGase, there were two, <laughs> there were two blokes up on the seventh floor talking to each other. Yes, and they're there every night. Yeah, every night. Doing, doing the same thing. And not funny, Mrs. McGase. Oh, oh. So there you are. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. McGase. I wonder if he uh, washes cars as well. Oh, no, oh, you are vile. Oh, I'll pay him. Yeah, what would you get him to do? Oh, I should him, perhaps. <laughs> his spouse. Perhaps to the Eureka Sky Deck or something. No, for him and his wife. You'd have been going up the drain pipe cleaning out your drains. He's good, isn't he? Marvellous.